Welcome to Drunk Bible Study. This show's mission is to read every single word of the greatest story ever told. A warning to our listeners, the hosts of this show are sinners, but they're doing their best. There will be drinking and there may be some swears. They did say they'd try to keep it clean, but I wouldn't put my money on it. I'm Emily, and this is Drunk Bible Study, where my good friends Dedeker and Jace teach me, a born and raised atheist, all about the Bible. So Jace and Dedeker, how are y'all doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. Do you want to hear about our most recent about us? iTunes review? Yes. Yeah, so listeners, we don't normally read our reviews on our show. I always skip past that part in podcasts because I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're so great. I don't <laughs> care. Um, but I just had to share this with y'all. So this is our most recent review. This was left by user good4317823. Hopefully that's not their phone number. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so they say, I'm an agnostic and was looking to educate myself on the Bible. I tried just reading it on its own, but that was way too long and boring, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I started listening to this as a way to learn about the Bible and absolutely fell in love with all three hosts while also learning about a huge cultural thing. I guess that thing being the Bible. But, yeah, <laughs> I think so. I listen to this while at work and have to stifle my laughs because this podcast is absolutely hilarious. Oh, I even listen to this while in the Vatican. So I can officially say that drunk Bible study has been to the Vatican. That's pretty awesome. Highly recommend to anyone looking for some laughs and education. We've been to the Vatican. I mean, I've been to the Vatican, but not doing the show. So (laughs) I've never been to the live podcast in the the show from the Vatican. Yes. From the Vatican. That's a good idea. That That would be the freaking day. Let me just tell you. Yeah, we would definitely. That would never happen. That would never happen. We can maybe do it next to the Vatican. We could probably do it quite close to the Vatican. Yeah, there's a lot. Did it in Vatican City? Just somewhere in Vatican City. Somewhere in Vatican City. City. I think we could pull that off. Let's get our our non-existent booking agent on the phone and be (laughs) like, hey, what context you got in Vatican City? Any venues? (laughs) There's like a giant, like thing all over the way around the vatican there's a like a big wall is, i believe what a they call big it big old wall yeah yeah it it's really difficult to like get in and out without a tour guide mm-hmm. and some moolah okay. or being a well, podcast that's carried with with reverence with reverence into the vatican to be listened by like as apparently this listener did yeah i, I see yeah carry it in mm-hmm. on a on an ipad or something i just love it because yeah. it just feels like the height of <laughs> of the like culture? a sacrilege. Yes. No, oh, sacrilege oh, oh, is what I was saying, Gracious. The height of right. culture. Yes. yes. But well, I love it. Yeah. All right. Well, I was trying to remember, as always, what we listened to. <laughs> yeah. What, we what did we read about. last time? I don't know. I was looking. There's something about serpents and them being on a pole and fiery. Yeah. Do you remember I, okay, exactly yeah. their relation to each other? Um. Did they make... Fire, fire out of the pole and it was a serpent? Wow. No? No. no. I think Good you're guess. usually a little closer than this. Good guess. I'm sorry. I just came back from Comic-Con and it, like I have nothing in my head except for Multi- Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 of the Black Order. Well, this is not okay. related to that. Unrelated. Um, I know. No, there exactly. were the fiery serpents that bit the Israelites and then Moses, God instructed Moses to put a serpent of brass on a pole and okay. anyone who looked at yes the serpent that was so weird that was really weird they would still yeah. get bitten by the serpent the fiery serpent i know but they wouldn't how die. unfortunate they but wouldn't they wouldn't die, die. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and we were we were wondering like well is that forever do you yes. have to continually look at the fiery serpent Constantly stare at right. the serpent yeah. yeah and do you remember what happened with balaam yeah he was so he's like a prophet i mm-hmm. do remember uh-huh. talking about him and but he's yeah, not an Israelite. He's not an Israelite, but he is a prophet, and he can only like speak the word of God in an in a positive manner, or and just like he is brand he loyal. He can't speak to ill of him. Yeah, he can't speak ill of God. Yeah, Yahweh. I think that's more of like a personal choice rather than like a physical defect. But remember, what I don't, happened, well, but, not de- yeah. I thought that like that was the thing that he couldn't do. He can't speak ill of God. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember that either. Oh, okay. I thought maybe that he was said in the Wikipedia those... article. I don't oh, know. That's possible. Yes, that's possible. Yeah. Okay. But do you remember what happened though? Like why he was in the story? Uh, he. he had I'm a, assuming he, he prophesied something. He nope. owned an animal. I mean. 
Oh yeah, a donkey, the ass. <laughs> yes. The ass of Yahweh. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Uh, the ass of Balaam. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. And what did the ass do? Uh, he talked. Mm-hmm. She talked, actually. Oh, was it a she ass? It was a she. Okay. It was a she ass, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm sure she was. And yeah. what did she say to him? She was upset because he hit her with his foot. And she was like, what the heck, bro? Like, I am your loyal, loving donkey, and uh-huh. you choose to hit me. And he was like, uh, instead of being kind of freaked out that she was talking, he was like, well, you know, I'm so, but you didn't go in the way that I was wanted you to go. And she said, but I saw God over there and I didn't Mm. want to put you in danger. Not God, quite, but an angel. But yes, an angel of Yahweh or the Lord or God. Yeah, all any one of them. Sure. I know, but it said God. We used the different words a lot last time. Exactly. It's true. See, it's it's all coming back to me now. Okay. See, I was just talking to Dedeker the other day that I want, I like when we have songs involved in this show. Uh huh. And she wasn't so sure about that. Why? (laughs) <laughs> Doesn't she? You know, she was just singing Backstreet Boys or In Sync or whatever. Yeah, but now when we were recording, uh, can we talk about what we're drinking? I noticed that you have a straw stuck into a glass of wine. It's Emily. because I don't want. Okay, <laughs> listen, listen. I have these freaking things on your Invisalign. Yes, and I don't really want to take them out because we're going to be eating later, and I want to save my taking out time for them. I have. It's to a have good these... look. I like. I don't know. This is the aesthetic of a straw poking out of your wine glass. It's I just nice... don't want to stain my Invisaligners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice because it's it's a wine glass, so it's actually in a wine glass, and it's red wine, but with this red, red and white like a candy swirled cane. paper straw, uh, like uh, candy cane like uh, paper straw. It's pretty cute. Mm-hmm. What kind of wine is it? It's a red blend. It's a prophecy. It's not bad. It is a prophetic. Yeah, I like, think that uh, because... Like Balaam in general. I actually really like the artwork on it. Yeah. It has this like gold leafing on it kind of. Yeah. And it, oh, cool it's, it, it says prophecy, the lovers. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I see. So that's this particular. Yeah. So prophecy, prophecy is, is the lovers. brand and the lovers is this particular. Oh, yeah. Because I've yeah. seen a bunch of different prophecies <laughs> okay. throughout the land. And, Emily, wow. I've and, seen a bunch. I mean, I've seen like a lot that. of prophecies. <laughs> yeah, no and, big deal. But they all have different artwork on the front. So. Okay. Anyways, well, yeah, that's cool. What anyway, are we reading? It's nice. It's yeah. nice, though. I like it. I like it, too. It's tasty. Uh, we're reading Numbers chapter 23, 24, and 25. Sweet. So we're back to three chapters again, so we're wow. going to take one each. Uh, oh boy. And I think, Dedeker, you're going to start us off, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. All right. Well, we want to remind all of our listeners to read responsibly and drink responsibly. You can drink along with us, or you can listen while you're in the car. But please do not do both at the same time. All right. Chapter 23. Balaam said to Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bulls and seven rams. So can I share with you real quick that when I was... I remember who the the heck Balak was. Oh, right. The king of Moab or something? Or was he the son of the king of somewhere? Something like that. He's he's an authority figure. No, yeah, maybe he was the king who called for it. Yeah, I think he was the king. I think that was the deal. He's the one who sent the messages when he didn't come at first, and then he did. Got it. Uh, when I was like getting all my tabs set up to start this, like I have my one that's got all the parallel translations and oh, then I've got this one you. that we read. Wow. Uh, I just happened to notice the very first translation, which happens to be in alphabetical order this time. So it's the American standard version. Uh huh. And that verse is, and Balaam said unto Balak, build me here seven altars and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. <laughs> spelled, bullocks? Like, spelled like Sandra Bullock's name. Oh. So. oh. Or like the Brits say Seven bullocks. Sandras. Or oh, that's like, bollocks. That's bollocks. No, not bullocks. Confusing. Yeah, this is Sandra Bullock's. Okay. <laughs> so seven Sandra Bullock's. Prepare me here seven Sandra Bullock's and seven rams. <laughs> Balak did as Balaam had spoken, and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bull and a ram. Did they just like put him up there? They were like, hey, come here, come here. They probably killed him first and then piled him up there. (laughs) Balaam said to Balak, stand by your burnt offering and I will go. Perhaps Yahweh will come to meet me. Nah. And whatever he shows me, I will tell you. (gasps) He went to a bear height. B-A-R-E. What does that mean? Jace. Come on. (laughs) Get it it, it together. You got got a tab open. I know you do. You just told us you did. I know. He went to a bear height. A bear height. height. Like a height so high up on the mountain. There's like no trees or anything. It's... Uh, it's just like bear, a bear height. What could it be? 
Well, let me give you some clarity by reading Wycliffe, which is the one who showed up at the top of the list this time. great. There's seriously no rhyme or reason to the order that these show up. It blows my mind. And Wycliffe isn't going to help you. Wycliffe says, and then Balaam said to Balak, stand thou here a while beside thy burnt sacrifice while I go. If in hap the Lord shall meet with me and I shall tell thee whatever thing he shall command. And when he had gone away swiftly. Oh, what? What? Huh? What? And, that that helped not and then at it, all. And, then, and when he had gone away swiftly, and then in parentheses, and when he had quickly gone away by himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let me try to find something more useful Tell me about the message, that. please. I Just know, cut straight always, to the message. We got to have okay. a balance there. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it just says, uh, whatever he shows me or tells me, I'll report to you. Then he went off by himself. So what is he went to a bear, bear height? height? How is that related? Uh, How does that mean like he that's went why off the by message himself? Himself. The message isn't always the most helpful. So okay. others are saying things like he went alone to the top of a hill. Okay. okay. But, but a, you were right. Yes. You were right. Denver. He went to a bear. So Balaam went off to a bear hilltop. Okay. New International okay. Readers. Bear hilltop. Yeah, okay. I can get behind so that. So a height <clears throat> meaning like somewhere high An up. An actual height. Yes. <laughs> the King James Version says he went to a desolate height. Whoa. Okay. Um, My goodness. It, here's a weird one. The Septuagint Bible, which Excuse we don't talk you? about very much. The Septuagint Bible says, um, you know, if God will appear to me and meet me and the word which he shall shew me, I shall report to thee. And Balak stood by his sacrifice. Oh. That this one's just like focuses on the fact that on he Balak. stayed there rather than rather on Balaam than going weird. to a desolate height. Okay. So apparently there's some disagreement on this. Wow. So yeah. Balaam went somewhere and uh-huh. Balak stayed behind. Okay. <laughs> Great. Cool. God met Balaam and he said to him, I have prepared the seven altars and I've offered up a bull and a ram on every altar. Yahweh put a word in Balaam's mouth uh, and uh-huh. said, return to Balak and thus you shall speak. Oh, a single word. It's, you know, it's poetry. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Into it. I'm into it. He returned to him and behold... <laughs> He was standing by his burnt offering, he and all the princes of Moab. Oh, boy. Okay. He took up his parable and said, from Aram has Balak brought me, the king of Moab from the mountains of the east. Come, curse me, Jacob. Jacob! Come, (laughs) defy Israel. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? How shall I defy whom Yahweh has not defied? For from the top of the rocks I see him, from the hills I see him, behold. Who's he talking about? Uh, him being Israel, the people. Uh, Remember we did this in the last one where yeah. they kept using this like singular to yeah. refer to the whole people. The I was singular. like, is, I think, he, I think wait, that's what's happening here. Yeah, but then they also said Jacob, meaning like Jacob was like the <clears throat> beginnings of Israel. Yeah, yeah, I think they're using those words interchangeably. Yeah. Okay. okay. And using them in the singular which is confusing. I From the hills, yeah. I see him. Behold, it is a people that dwells alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob or number the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous. Let my last end be like his. Uh. But, 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 but. <laughs> so, so Balaam came <laughs> back and said all this? N- so, no. Or did Balaam... Balak... S- Balaam. Yeah. I'm confused about who's saying what. Balaam is saying all this. Right. Okay. Okay. Verse 11. Balak said to Balaam, what have you done to me? And also, what the hell are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took you to curse my enemies and behold, you have blessed them all together. Well, okay. Apparently what, what all that meant was a blessing. And well, him basically it, saying, I can't curse them because Yahweh hasn't cursed them. So yeah, how can I curse them? Sense. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. All right. Um, he answered and said, must I not take heed to speak that which Yahweh puts in my mouth? So Balaam is even like a dude. It's just Yahweh put this in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I'm I can't really do anything about it. Sorry. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm a prophet, not a commander of Yahweh. Yeah. Balak yeah. said to him, I'm not Yahweh's like keeper. <laughs> Please good, good come with me to another place. From when <laughs> did you... he just wait, 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 what? Yes. what? <laughs> Balak said to him, okay. Please come with me to another place. From whence you may see them. Uh, okay. You shall see but the utmost part of them and shall not see them all and curse me them from there. So is he kind of saying like, just curse some of them? <laughs> what about that? Uh, okay. what if, yeah. Well, I'm going to, I think maybe he's just saying like, let's go somewhere so you can see them. And then maybe your cursing will work better. He's kind of ignoring, <laughs> he's like ignoring the real message. That, that it's like, no, no, said. like, come okay. on. How about from this hill? There must be some kind of user error here. Let's try yeah. this. Okay. 
He took him into the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars. <laughs> Wait, more? more? Jeez. Yeah, okay. And offered up a bull and a ram on Ugh. every altar. He said to Balak, stand here by your burnt offering while I meet Yahweh yonder. Mm-hmm. Yahweh met Balaam and put a word in his mouth and I, said, I can. return to Balak, uh, and thus shall you speak. He came to him, and behold, he was standing by his burnt offering and the princes of Moab with him. Balak said to him, what has Yahweh spoken? He took up his parable and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear. Listen to me, you son of zipper. God is not a I don't ma- think he meant that as an insult. <laughs> you son of just zipper. A, just a title, but okay. I like that it sounds... <laughs> yeah. Listen to me, you son of zipper. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Mm. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not make good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless. Oof. He has blessed, and I can't reverse it. Oof. Okay. Yeah. He has not saw iniquity in Jacob. Neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. Yahweh, his God, is with him. The shout of a king is among them. God brings them forth out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of the wild ox. <laughs> as it were. <laughs> Let me put this in simple terms <laughs> for you to understand, <laughs> Balak. He has, as it were, the strength of a wild ox. (laughs) Surely there is no enchantment with Jacob, neither is there any divination with Israel. Now shall it be said of Jacob and of Israel, who are the same people. Uh Right, exactly. Well, I guess like Jacob and then Israel, meaning (laughs) all the the people. Now shall it be said of Jacob and of Israel, what has God done? Behold, the people rises up as a lioness. (laughs) As a lion, does he lift himself up? He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey, drink the blood of the slain. Balaam, this is like really going do. off. The- <laughs> Just like lions do. Wow. Drink the blood of the slain. Okay. Balak do, do said they do to- that? I don't think so. Lions? When they lick they lick it up. Yeah, but do, do they-, they? Is that a thing? Do lions drink blood? I mean, not like vampires. They're not like sucking it out of... <laughs> Yeah, you know. I, I haven't known any vampire lions. Can you imagine? <laughs> a lion is already terrifying. Vampire is also terrifying. Combining the two together? No, I cannot imagine. A lion pyre? My a cats, vamp lion? My cats are scary enough as it is. Yeah. Can you imagine a whole like gigantic boy? No. <sighs> okay. Balak said to Balaam, neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so wait, so Balak is like, just don't do either. Okay, then don't just don't bless like, them. Like if you can't like, curse them, yeah. just don't bless okay, them. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's bargaining. Yeah. Yes. But Balaam answered Balak, "Didn't I tell you, saying all that Yahweh speaks, that I must mm, do?" He did. Yeah, that's what you were talking about. Emily. Exactly. Yeah, that he couldn't. Yes. Balak said to can't Balaam, disobey. "Come now." You didn't even believe. <laughs> oh, me. it's because remember that was the the condition that the angel made. Oh, so remember, like Yahweh was like, "Fine, go if he wants you to go, but you can only speak what I tell mm. you to speak." And then he's right. like, "Okay," and he goes, and then somehow Yahweh forgot he said that was okay, and then he sent the angel to kill him, and the donkey saved him. Right? Remember that whole situation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I didn't then realize the angel that he talked saved- to him and was like, "Fine, you can go, just like Yahweh already told you, <laughs> but you have to only say what Yahweh tells you to say." Oh, yeah. that's okay. what it was. Balak said to Balaam, "Come now." I will take you to another place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that, that, how is that going to work better? Oh, third time's oh, a charm. Boy. Per adventure, it will please God. Do that we you remember may- what that means? Uh, per, 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 perfect, perhaps, 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 perhaps. Uh, per, per chance, perhaps. per chance, yeah, per chance. I was singing cake. Per, it's oh, don't okay. worry about it. Cool. Um, come now. <laughs> I will take you to another place. Per adventure, it will please God that you may curse me them from there. Uh, <laughs> so Balak's really missing it. He thinks it's yeah, a location-based issue. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Balak took Balaam to the top of Peor that looks down on the desert. Balaam said to Balak, build me here seven altars. He's still letting and, him build the altars, And prepare though. me here seven bulls and seven rams. Balak did as Balaam had said and offered up a bull and a ram on every altar. And that's the end of the chapter. Wow. What? I better. I, what? It like cuts off mid... Yeah, Story. well, it keeps going. I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're, you're going to get into it. Yeah, it continues. Okay, I thought we were going to have a, like, meanwhile, you know, like, it's like, <laughs> meanwhile, Erstwhile back on... with the Israelites, yeah. you know, then they're <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs> what am I thinking? That would have been engaging writing. I know, that would have been, <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, what, it, it, don't get your hopes up here. far too modern. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, 
Uh, take, up all right. the, take up the banner. Here we you, go. Jason. Yeah. Numbers 24. When Balaam saw that it pleased Yahweh to bless Israel, he didn't go, mm. as at the other times, to meet with enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. I love that. It's just like, I'm going to move my face around towards <laughs> the really wilderness. You really like the face-based jokes in yeah. this no, book. No, <laughs> falling on the face, like, yes, I mean, the falling funny. on face is funny, yes. Yeah. And also setting his face, and what's yeah. the one that Yahweh does? Uh, I shall... Like set my face set against my face him. against them. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what is that? It's <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, I'm I'm actually a little confused by this sentence though. When so when Balaam saw that it pleased Yahweh to bless Israel, right? So that he doesn't want to curse him, he didn't go as the other times to meet with enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. You want to look at a translation? So did he? What do we think though? Does this mean he like he didn't? Was he doing enchantments the other times? I guess. I, or I wonder if it was like. He's like, I know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to go to bother. Not even going to bother. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, oh, okay. The message says, by now Balaam realized that God wanted to bless Israel. So, <laughs> by now he did. <laughs> oh. Slow on the uptake there, Balaam. So he didn't work in any sorcery as he had done earlier. Oh, what? Uh, what? what? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What kind of sorcery? Yeah. Is Balaam a charlatan? Well, I mean, uh, well see, I wonder. He's a prophet. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. According I to wonder Wikipedia. If this is, wonder if this is one of those things where like when someone who's not an Israelite does this sort of thing, it's we call it sorcery, sorcery. Oh. as opposed to prophecy. Well, as opposed to like casting lots or like mm. whatever sorts of, or, or making that radioactive poison for women who cheat on their husbands, <laughs> uh. right? Like, <clears throat> um, let me see what Tyndale says here. When Balaam saw we that it <laughs> pleased ye, we. ye Lord, that he should bless Israel, he went not as he did twice before. Oh, he even says twice before. Uh-huh. Spelled T-W-Y-S-E, twice. Uh-huh. I like that, actually. Twice. As he did twice before <laughs> to fet soft saying, oh. but set his face toward ye wilderness. <laughs> Wildernessa? Wildernessa. Wilderness Somebody's... with a N-E-S-S-E at the mm-hmm. end. Wilderness. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Wow. Well, that was enlightening. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that wasn't helpful at all, but okay. <laughs> okay. Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel dwelling according to their tribes. And the Spirit of God came on him. Uh... It, you know. Came upon I him. I don't yes. know. Oh, it, you know, okay, it like possessed okay. him. And did his did his prophecy thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emily. Come on, Emily. come on. I, I mean, I. You know what? Anything could. It, they were talking about the donkey and things in the last <laughs> okay. episode. All right, all right, all right. He took up his parable and said, "Balaam, the son of Beor, says." So he's quoting himself in the third person now. Yeah, Balaam, the son of Beor, says, "The man whose eye was closed says." Wait, just a single eye, and who? What? It's a lot of nesting saying of things. And who is he speaking of? Who is this man whose single eye was closed? Maybe that's also about himself. Yeah, sure. You know, he said it's like the whole like uh, you know Daenerys stormborn, freer of dragons and saver of people and kickasser of, of everybody. Yeah, yeah, like that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, okay. A single eye closed. So person. Balaam, the son of Beor, says, uh-huh. the man whose eye was closed says, he says, <laughs> who hears the word of God, he says, who sees the vision of the almighty falling down and oh. having his eyes open. What? And now they're open. What? I don't even know. How goodly are your tents, Jacob? Your tents, Israel. <laughs> He's really impressed. <laughs> wow. Okay. As valleys, they are spread forth. As gardens by the riverside, as lignolos. Oh boy, lignolos. What's Lig- a lignolo? <laughs> a lignolo. L i g n dash a l o e s. Is it? A type I'm of assuming that's Allos? just one word. Lignolos. Lignolos. Uh, Aquilaria malacensis. Okay. Oh, what's well, this? Expelliarmus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aquilario Meliensis. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm looking at other translations <laughs> here, and um, it's not gonna be. Yeah. Some are saying they're like aloes the Lord has planted. Okay, like the the aloe plant. 
the Message Bible says... It's probably good that they did that because probably a lot of people were getting sunburned. And so they oh, were, yeah. The God was like, important. okay, I'll help out here. I'll bring out the aloe. Like valleys stretching out in the distance, like gardens planted by rivers, like sweet herbs planted by the gardener God. Oh, the gardener uh, God. Are you... I'm British now. Yeah, I was like, excuse me. <laughs> dedeker has been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Syndicate lately. <laughs> that is and they me. all speak British in that. And so herbs. I've been kind of picking it up, you know. <laughs> Jolly, oh, Jolly good, old then. boy. Boy. Okay, so it's some kind of aloe. <laughs> Okay. And God is a gardener. Yeah, okay. Well, so obviously. <laughs> as lignin aloes, which <laughs> Yahweh aloes. has planted, as cedar trees beside the waters. He's really going for this metaphor here. He's very inspired in seeing, By these tents. Yeah, seeing these Wait, tents. Wait, are they talking? Okay. Your tents, Israel. Yes, I know, but they're not talking about the literal aloe. They're just talking. Is this they're a like metaphor? Aloe. Yeah, it's, it's a, a it's metaphor. A metaphor. This yeah. entire thing is a metaphor. Well, actually, this is simile. It's technically a simile because he's saying as. Yeah, yes, you're a simile. Right. Hashtag cool. English. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> water shall flow from his buckets. His seed what? shall be in many waters. Ew. Gross. Wow. His king shall be higher than Agag. Okay. Well, Agag. Agag. I'm going to make a note to look up who the hell Agag, Agag is. is. Okay. His, <laughs> a his single king, gag. <laughs> his <laughs> king shall be higher <laughs> than Agag. Agag. I don't know. His kingdom shall be exalted. God brings him forth out of Egypt. He has, as, as, it, were. Were, the strength, as it were, the strength of the wild ox. I can't think of a better metaphor than Who that are one. They are they talking about God here? No, I think they're think, talking of about Israel. Israel. Again, in the singular, oh, yes. to refer to the whole peoples, though. I mean, this is some high praise for them. It, it really is. Quite frankly, because, come on, this is a people who have been... You know, yelling and very upset about things. Yeah, but Bunch they've also been wiping fiery serpents. But they've also been wiping out people left and right. That's true, so. they have been kind of taking over a bunch of lands recently. I suppose because yeah, God is on their side and stuff. But they've also like <laughs> God has also plagued them mo- multiple times. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. Um, okay. <clears throat> he has, as it were, the strength of the wild ox. He shall eat up the nations, his adversaries shall break their bones in pieces, smite them through with his arrows. Yikes. Kind of lost the metaphor there. He's like, he's an ox who's eating them and breaking their bones and also shoots arrows. I guess <laughs> yeah. he's a human again. I, I don't know. He's a ox, like he's an, an ox arrow wielding, an yeah. arrow wielding ox. Yeah. <laughs> he couched. He lay down as a lion. What does couched mean? Remember we had this in Genesis, right? Did we? Couching? Yeah, couching to, just to mean to like to lay down, lay right? down or just something, to, or to like yeah. that's a couch you lay down on it. No, well, it comes you... from couche. Well, couche is the French verb. Well, like, I didn't as take in, French. Well, but do you know voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Yes. Okay, so yeah, couche means to sleep. That's where uh, the word couch comes from. Oh, initially as a reference to like a sleeping place. Oh. Yeah, so like to... a chaise longue. Well, that's not the same, but... Yeah, it's Well, not. okay. It's <laughs> French, maybe. It is French, and it is something that you put your butt on, so... So in English, though, the verb couch has two meanings. One is to express something in a language of a specified style. What? Like... Like to couch it in praise? Right. Or like... Or like this person couched their lies in scientific jargon. Or yes. they couched their lies in religious speech or something like that religious mumbo jumbo yes and then the other meaning is to lie down (laughs) so one that all we lay people know it as yes okay um he couched he lay down as a lion so he lay down he lay down as a lion (laughs) as a lioness he sort of a lion no corrects himself rather a lioness (laughs) yeah yeah okay who shall rouse him up Eh? blessed be everyone who blesses you Cursed be everyone who curses you. I'm sorry, who is saying this? It's this Balaam. is still Balaam. Balaam's okay. prophesying. Uh, He's having yeah. a moment. Okay. All right, all right. Remember the, the spirit of God came on him and he started saying all these things. Emily. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> oh, keep going. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam and he struck his hands together. Ah, smack. <laughs> smack it. And Balaam, and wait, and Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies, and behold, you have altogether blessed them these three times. Yeah, why are we doing this again then, (laughs) Balak? Right? You think it's going to be different? (laughs) Therefore, now flee you to your place, 
I thought to promote you to great honor, but behold, Yahweh has kept you back from honor. Mm. Balaam said to Balak, didn't I also tell your messengers who sent to me saying, okay, so, you so to me. I'm quoting myself now. Uh-huh. If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, silver. I can't go. I'm sorry. Every time I, I can't see silver. go beyond the word of Yahweh to do either good or bad of my own mind. What Yahweh speaks, that I will speak. What? Were you, were you singing the one from from the claymation, like, Rudolph? No, I was singing, Said the night wind to the little lamb. Oh, I see. Do you see what <laughs> I see? Right, because there's silver and gold in that. Yeah. Because I was thinking that, like, silver and gold. No. Silver I don't know that. Gold. Excuse me, I you don't know. The, I listen. I'm not religious. Obviously, it was we've on all, TV we've all, every we've year. We've all acknowledged that. And so, I want to know what actually happens in this story. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Emily and I gave each other looks <laughs> just now. <clears throat> we'll talk more about that later. Fun. Okay. Now, <laughs> behold. Now, <laughs> I go to my people. Come. And I will advertise you what this people shall do to your people in the latter days. <gasps> like the latter day saints? Yes. They're the army of the church of Jesus Christ of latter day saints. Jesus Christ of, of latter day saints. saints. <laughs> yep. He took up his parable and <laughs> said, Chris Emmy. She <laughs> doesn't like it at all. Over. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, says, the man whose eye was closed oh, here says, we go again. he says who hears the words of God, Ugh. knows the knowledge of the Most High, who sees the vision of the Almighty falling down and having his eyes open. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm just asking, why does he have an eye closed? Is he like prophesying, prophesizing, prophes- prophesying it's, it's, I think he's with one eye? That, like his eye was eyes, closed. His sight was closed. But one eye and now it's open. I'm. I don't know. I'm sure. Or maybe in other here he's referring to like his third eye, mm. and then his eyes open is more of a different sort of meaning. Now he can prophesy. Right. Yes. This is confusing. It is. It, confusing. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Should we? I mean, should we look up another translation? I don't know if you want. No, Derek just, just wants want, to forge ahead. I want to forge ahead. I always okay. want to forge ahead. I know, but such good stuff though. I'm really liking this, honestly. We'll look um, it up for the bonus episode. I see him, but not now. Mm-mm. I see him, but not near. There shall come forth a star out of Jacob. Wait, dead Jacob? Yes, dead Jacob. Well, what? I don't know. He ain't <laughs> He ain't alive no more. So like, Look, why But he, he lives on through his seed, which is in all these people. You know, they shall number like grains of sand on the, in the desert or whatever the, the line was. Yes. <laughs> There shall come forth a star out of Jacob. Ugh. A scepter shall rise out of Israel. Wow. Shall, shall strike through the corners of Moab, break down all the sons of tumult. That's not a name. That's just the word tumult, as in tumultuous. The sons of, so these tumultuous sons. I, I guess so, yeah, yeah. That's a good band name, tumultuous <laughs> sons. I like that. Or just the sons of tumult, also yeah, good. sons of tumult. We could be two competing bands. Okay, sons of tumult is like a super like hard rock band or uh-huh. like a metal band. Yeah, yeah. And then tumultuous sons is like, like the a, tribute band to them. Oh, yeah, I like that. Or they're like a <laughs> competing like a folk rock band. Mm, okay, yeah. So competing, you mean like completely different genre, different (laughs) market. Okay, cool. Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession. What? Like these two places, these other kingdoms, right? They're just going to take them up. They're going to take them. They're going to be their possessions now. All right. Who were his enemies while Israel does valiantly. So those were his enemies. Now Israel owns them. Out of Jacob shall have sorry, out of Jacob shall one have dominion, shall destroy the remnant of the city. Emily needs more wine. (laughs) He looked at Amalek and took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall come to destruction. He looked at the Kenite and took up his parable and said, strong is your dwelling place. Who's the Kenite? We haven't heard of these people. Are these the other princes of Moab? Oh, that makes sense, because there's all the different princes in this yeah. area. Okay. So he's like kind of going to each one, right? So the Amalek one, he's like, 
what you you were the first you're the first you were the first but the latter end shall come to but his but latter you will come end. to destruction mm-hmm. yeah Yikes. Th- uh, this is awkward for all of them that he's yeah, telling no, them all this yes that's sort of the tough job of a of a prophet though you know like you I don't mean, always get to imagine. tell people good news mm-hmm. right I suppose you're right Kenite. Uh, He looked at the Kenite and took up his parable and said, strong is your dwelling place. Your nest is set in the rock. Nevertheless, Cain shall be wasted. It's going to be so drunk because he's getting beaten by Israel. So wasted, man. Until Ashur shall carry you away captive. I don't know what that word means, but someone will carry you away captive. He took up his parable and said, alas, who shall live when God does this? No one. But ships shall come from the coast of Kittim. They shall afflict Ashur and shall afflict Eber and shall and he shall also come to destruction. Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place. And Balak also went his way. But what place? What place is he back, talking back about? Back home, I guess. Back home with his donkey. He's like, peace out. You know, he's like, I didn't even want to get out of bed today anyway. So, yeah, I think that's kind of his like mic drop moment, right? Where he, you know, they were like. Balak Balak was trying to be like, well, you get out of here. I was going to give you riches and stuff. And he's like, <laughs> he's prophecies. Like, nah, but and then prophecies. And he's drop. like, yeah, bye bye Exactly. Wow. Okay. Well, I can't wait to see what happens in the next chapter. Numbers 25. Israel abode in... Shittim. <laughs> S-H-I-T-T-I-M. I'm sorry. There's no good way to say that. Yeah, no, there's no good way. Shittim. Shittim. All right. And the people begin to play the prostitute with the daughters of Moab. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh dear. Okay. So it happens when you go. hang around long enough. Eventually, those wow. daughters of Moab start looking real good. Yeah. Ugh. Real yeah. exotic, you yeah, know. Yeah, apparently. Jeez. Okay. For they called the people to the sacrifices of their gods uh, and the people ate and bowed down their down to their gods it's not gonna go well oh boy yeah, you, yeah we know how yahweh deals with this sort of <laughs> yeah thing. he's gonna strike them all down you know what i was just thinking i kind of miss aaron what really <laughs> yeah, tell me more about that why i don't know Let's... i just i was like thinking like oh you know we we've got a good uh a good you know let's uh bow down to all of the the other gods section and i was like oh aaron you used to do that. <laughs> How sad, but you're not here to do it this time. No. So, um, mm-hmm. all right. So Israel joined himself to Baal Peor and the anger Ooh. of Yahweh. Is Baal Peor a god? I, I bet you it is because I've heard of Baal we'll look him up. or Baal. Ba- I don't Baal. know who it's, how it's pronounced. I've heard it pronounced both B-A-A-L ways. B-A-A-L dash Peor. Yeah, I'm writing P-E-O-R. it down. We'll, we'll okay. figure it out for all the right, bonus. Right. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Israel. Obviously. Well, I mean, of course, <laughs> yeah. Yahweh's not going to like all this at all. We saw that coming. They never learn, do they? No, they really don't. I don't understand. I don't. Yeah. They're like <clears throat> tempted by everything. Yeah, it's probably really because there's six kajillion people mm-hmm. and whenever Moses makes out. any kind of announcement, it's only like the 20 people around him who hear it. <laughs> yeah, and that's by the time right. the word spreads to the back of the freaking room, yeah. they're already making the same mistake again. Right. I suppose. It's like in Life of Brian. They've got so. a room. Uh, I think he said, though. blessed are the cheese makers. Exactly. Like so he's like, of... I think he's saying that it's good to like be friends with other God or like... And like, look, but look at let metal snakes yeah. and treat the foreign God as a someone who lives here. Seems, I don't know. Yeah, something okay, like that. They need to work rotate like in dance class like in an audition exactly. okay, okay. Yeah. lines Dancing. come to the front switch yes, lines exactly yeah. exactly they need to do that because <laughs> yeah, this is idea. ridiculous and switch i'm sure lines so yahweh can bitch slap you in the face <laughs> i'm sure that the same people run up to the front every single time they're like oh i'm gonna be like buddies with moses here i am in the front mm, and yeah. then you know they're the only ones who get the good information it's true well there's also like the certain tribes that get to be closer right. around the tabernacle and then wow. the other ones well, then outside we can't say anything to them i know so anyways, Yahweh can't say anything because these people are in the back row and they can't hear you. So mm. sorry, Yahweh. Apologize <laughs> for that. Anyways, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, oh, yeah, Yahweh said to Moses, take all the chiefs of all the people and hang them up to Yahweh before the sun. Eek. That like the literally f- hang them? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him. Wouldn't I, put it past him. I guess is there that's... another translation that uses a different verb? Re- read the rest of the verse, please. So, okay, hang them up to Yahweh before the sun, that the fierce anger of Yahweh may turn away from Israel. 
What? <clears throat> okay. Well, the message is going to make it real clear here. Please. God said to Moses, take all the leaders of Israel and kill them by hanging. Ha! Holy leaving crap. them publicly exposed in order to turn God's anger away from Israel. Good Lord. What about wow. Tyndale says... And said unto Moses, take all ye heads, heads of the people and hang them up unto ye, Lord, against the sun, that the wrath of the Lord may turn away from Israel. Jeez. Wow. Our it's God really, like, really, that he, he truly has, there's, there's, like. Zero chill. Zero, zero chill. Like, we've totally lost any attempt Anymore of like Moses and Aaron being like, well, Aaron is on. gone now. I know, but even Moses mm. is no longer like, oh, Lord, let me try to talk you out of it. Or, oh, let me try to He's warn like, the people. Like, no, cool. it's nothing. It's just a zero tolerance policy now. I wonder if maybe some of the things were kind of rewritten from before. Remember yeah. when Moses was like, so, so Yahweh, let's talk about your brand image here. Like, what if you were the forgiven God instead of the vengeful uh-huh. God? That'd be cool, right? And Yahweh's like, no. <laughs> well, remember Yahweh was like, yeah, I'll try that. And then like, it tried for 30 seconds. did it. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Nope. Okay. But what if like Aaron was actually the one who's been talking God down all this time and Oop. Moses is just Aaron? taking credit uh, for it. Now that Aaron's gone. Yeah. Then Moses kind of rewrote Moses. those no stories buffer. to be like, I sure. was the one sure, who protected bro. you before. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. This is super hardcore. Though. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah, it is. Geez. So Israel. Oh, wait. Yeah. First uh, five. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Moses said to the judges of Israel, kill you, everyone, his men, who have joined themselves to Baal Peor. Who's a god? Yes. Oh, oh, all right. Behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought to his brothers a Midianite woman in the sight of Moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel while they were weeping at the door of the tent of meeting. So what? They just like grabbed a midnight and they were like, here she is, everyone. (laughs) Like what? Let's keep reading. I'm like, what's happened? Why? I I don't know. First of all, I think it's a little confusing because I think we just like, again, took a sharp left into a different story. Exactly. Like has happened before. It's like erstwhile over Uh here. This is happening. Okay. So when Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest saw it, it Meaning saw them do saw that. The, oh, the occurrence. okay, yeah. okay. He rose up from the midst of the congregation and took a spear in his hand. Uh, okay. And he went after the man of Israel into the pavilion and thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her body. Jeez. Wow, this is gruesome, guys. This is like, very yeah. gory. How did y'all read this stuff? I did we not didn't. read this we stuff. We did not read any of this didn't. stuff. Yeah. This wasn't a Sunday school thing. Uh-uh. No, this is very much the stuff that gets skipped. And is this no one implying talks about. that like they were like doing it? Like Who, the the midnight and that guy, the midnight woman and this guy. I'm and assuming. And then Phineas they were was like, so pissed about it that he was like, "I'm just gonna spear him." Uh, both. You see, yeah. So he said. So maybe he he's bringing this midnight woman back home for sex. Yes. And they, on the way, walk by everyone who's near the tent of meeting and weeping and stuff. And then yes. Phineas is like, nah, uh-huh. Yeah. And then he goes and stabs them both, I guess, Gosh. while they're doing it. Wow. Maybe. Maybe. I, and then that's, that's pure conjecture. Can we see what other translations say? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Which, 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 which verse specifically? I can um, only do what, one do, verse do at a time. Wait, are we doing verse uh, eight? Verse eight, yes. Verse eight, okay. Do we remember which translation seemed to be the most... Which? The most, which? what, on the nose about when sex was happening? Uh, do we well, remember? I mean, Message? this one fed me up Wycliffe as the first one Let's here. Let's hear it. He... Entered after the man of Israel into the whorehouse. Oh, okay. Much more specific. And sticked through both together. That is the man and the woman in the places of engendering. What? And the the vengeance. What? (laughs) So wait a minute. Wait a minute. So they were like, wait, Uh, he like speared them like a kebab. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Here's the best part. Wycliffe, in addition to that being a fantastic translation, gives me a second one in parentheses. Oh, okay. That whole thing, again, as an alternate version. This one goes, he went into that body house. Body. After the man of Israel and stuck his sword through both of them together. That is, the man in the woman, in their places of begetting. Damn. 
<laughs> Different metaphor that time. Daisy. Oh, <laughs> goodness <laughs> gracious. Okay. The Oxford Jewish Bible says through <laughs> vomiting over here. <laughs> yeah. Through their belly. Um, That's not much better. Tyndale also says belly. A bunch of them say belly. Okay. That sounds like through the you stomach. Could, clearly, Wycliffe was belly. like through their junk. I yeah, think that's what they're saying. Specific. Yeah. Specific. Gracious wow. me. That is not what I expected at all. And then I guess are we to. <laughs> the message. Thank you. Thank you, message. The message. Thank you. The message has been disappointing me lately, but this time it is not. Um, the message says, and followed them into the tent. With one thrust, he drove the spear through the two of them, the man of Israel and the woman, right through their private parts. <laughs> what? No, 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 when? no, no, no. I love it. Oh, this is the first time the message is really. Uh, that is, I think, like the gold star for the message. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not going to get any better than no. that. It's I all downhill that from there. It could have been very easy oh, for boy. them. It could have been very easy for the message to do as many other translations have done and just kind of get euphemistic about it. To be like through but their no. uh-huh. torso, through their belly. But no, we're going to be specific about what it was, but we're still going to use private parts <laughs> yeah. to not be. Because we know, don't want to be vulgar. Bible. It's yeah, a yeah. Bible it's after a Bible. all. Come on. It's funny though, because I feel like the message in a Boy, lot of other places good. has been very euphemistic. And uh-huh. we've been kind of like, come on, yeah. really? But here it's just like. I love it. Poop. I absolutely love it. I mean, it, I don't love that these people are like getting frickin' murdered by Phineas and a bunch of other people. And Ferb, Pretty awful. Yeah. Um, and I guess that then this... Wait, did you read the rest of that? No. That so one? the plague was stayed from the children this of Israel. plague that has not been mentioned up to this point. Well, no, I think this is what um, Yahweh was saying. You know, like, my... Anger's going to be on you unless you kill all of the princes or the leaders okay. and hang them. And instead, Phineas and Ferb goes and stabs these two through their junk. And then that kind of takes care of it instead. That is hor- I'm sorry. That is horrifying. That is just. That is or, or is awful. this a previous plague? I don't know. I'm really. I don't know. It, maybe it's those serpenty serpents. I, so the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. Okay. May I go on? Yes. Those who died by the plague were 24,000. So a bunch of people died. Uh-huh. It's yep. fine. Cool. You know, cool. Yeah, cool. No good. problem. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have to imagine that a bunch of people, like the, the, the numbers are dwindling on Israel. They seem to be going strong, though. They really so seem to be making a bunch of people. How they many freaking people are there? They must be faster than I guess. These and these people come. are just like growing up really quickly here? I, guess I don't so. know. Yeah. They're giving spears to young boys? I don't know. All right. Yahweh spoke to Moses saying, Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel in that he was jealous with my jealousy among them so that I didn't consume the children of Israel in my jealousy. He was jealous Excuse me? for me, so I didn't have to do it. Are you jealous? I guess. Mm. <clears throat> well, he did say to us before in... Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the Ten Commandments. Uh-huh. Right? That thou shalt have no other gods mm-hmm. before me, for I'm a jealous God and yeah. blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Uh so there's that, right? He's saying like I this mean, yeah. because I guess she represents she them being like this with Baal Peor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you know, the woman gets killed again. Of course. Well I mean, I surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. stop both of them through the junk. I know, but still <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, but she's like, this is not my culture. These are not my exactly. rules. Exactly. So that's true. Yeah. Exactly. That's true. Aren't Thank you supposed you. to treat the sojourner in your land as your own yeah, well, people? Well, not if she's and... a whore, apparently, or a woman, <sighs> then it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Of course yeah. not. Therefore say, behold, I give to him my covenant of peace, and it shall be to him and to his seed after him the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Oh, I see. So, Eli- like, no, not Eleazar. Phineas, Phineas. gets extra gold stars wow, for doing this. Wow, of course this. he does. Yeah, so Eleazar is kind of like <sighs> this in the middle sort of well, he was the one. He was the one who got the clothing of Aaron after Aaron got killed. So this right. is Phineas' Stripped grandson. Stripped naked to die. This is Aaron's grandson. Aaron's grandson. Phineas is Aaron's grandson. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But, but basically Yahweh's being like... Eleazar was like, he's all right, but like the priesthood's going to go to this guy because he rules. 
He's so rules. He killed those people. Yeah. Right through the private parts. <laughs> Radical. <laughs> Can't even. Okay. So the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was jealous for his God and made atonement for the children of Israel. Ugh, whatever, God. Now the name of the man of Israel that was slain, who was slain with a midnight woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu, the prince of the father's house among the Simeonites. Ooh, the, so we got to really throw the Simeonites under the bus there. I guess so. It's like, we got to mm-hmm. know. Yeah, we, yeah. we're, we're going to tell everyone and write it down in the Bible. Mm-hmm. The name of the midnight woman who was slain was Cosby. <laughs> oh, no, dear. Oh, dear. What? Well, like you know, Bill that, Cosby. Yeah, that's, that was oh, this. yeah, Bill. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. The daughter of Zur, he was head of the people of a father's house in Midian. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Vex the Midnights and strike them, for they vex you with their wiles, with which they have deceived you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of the prince of Midian, their sister, who was slain on the day of the plague in the matter of Peor. That's the end. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine reading this every day like we're doing, but every day? Can you? Wait, what do you what do you mean if we did this podcast every day? Yeah, Instead no, I week? can't because I, I would need be so into that. This the Bible drives me to drink. You know <laughs> well, what I mean? Like yeah. all I'm saying is that it's more enjoyable while I'm having a glass of wine yeah. than it is were I not to be doing that. I mean you just drink every day. That's fine. I mean it's I try not to drink every day, but, but yes. If, but if you were but it, could you drink every day? For a year, if it meant reading through the whole Bible in a year. I would have to. a lot of drinking. I I could do that. I have that amount of commitment to Yahweh. Recording every single day? I could have a glass of wine every day. I could do it. I could could drink and read the Bible every day for a year. And I, I could read it, but I would be angry and I wouldn't remember all of it. You don't think you'd remember it better? Maybe I'd remember it better. The you thing would... is, y'all have a one up on me. You no, know? I know that's the that's the part of but the point you all of the get, show. You all are like, ugh, you don't remember, and I'm like, but I don't remember because I have no context for remembering. And I also was at Comic Con for a weekend. I know, but but you're also the one who's like remembers all the details of like what happened the previous week on Game of Thrones that you yeah. also don't have any frame of reference for. So. Yeah. I have more of a frame of reverence. I have seven years of a frame of reverence. And now before we finish, we would like to give a toast wow. to one of our $12 patrons. patrons. Yeah, one of our Thank disciples. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> yeah, and this toast goes to Ryan from Oregon. Uh, we really, really appreciate your patronage. I know that you have been a fan since day one. Um, apparently, you have a daughter who you listen to the podcast with. You don't drink because she's still a teenager. So thanks for doing that. <laughs> but uh, we really appreciate the fact that you listen to this with her and that it's like a collaborative thing. That's so awesome. So really, toast to you. We are Cheers. cheersing. Yeah. Ching. Yeah. <laughs> there's the three. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for that. And we hope to toast many others of you on the show. Yeah. So if you want a toast on the show as well, you can sign up to become one of our disciples yes. at patreon.com slash drunk Bible study. Thank you for joining us for drunk Bible study today. If you want even more drunk Bible study, including ad free episodes, early releases, personal toasts on the show and more become one of our patrons at patreon.com slash drunk bible study if you enjoy the show take a moment to subscribe and then write us a nice review on itunes or stitcher letting other people know what you like about it find us on twitter at drunk bible cast on instagram at drunk bible study or send us an email to info at drunk bible study.com Drunk Bible Study is created and produced by Dedeker Winston, Emily Matlack, and me, Jace Lindgren. Our theme song is Book Club by Josh and Anand from their album, Home of the The The. The theme song for the Book of Numbers is Motivator by Kevin McLeod. For more information, visit us at drunkbiblestudy.com. <laughs>